Secondary kung ano yung bosses, you know. Input from the process. Then, we have set value or set variable input. Which is our target value. Okay. Okay. Then, we have the variable stand for, or MP stand for manipulated variable, or skip data yung output command natin. Okay. So, uh, I2P is just uh, a converter or, or a, signa, uh, a component that converts, again, electrical to pneumatic uh, signal because our control valve is pneumatically operated. Okay, so we have what we call control modes. What are the control modes? So there are three uh, Control modes, common control modes in uh, our Kita, uh, sir. 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 We have manual mode. Mm -hmm. So when we say manual mode, we are manually operating the control valve. So meaning to say, there's an operator here that Yan, commands the control valve manually. For example, I will set here 50%, the yeah, uh, then, then, then control then, 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 will be 50%. I will set here 25%, the control button will move 25%. So in other words, when we, when we stroke the button, when we move the button, this is oh, no, what no, we call no, the no, manual. Uh, Why do we need the manual? Time. Actually, uh, sa, sa control loop, we have a tarot na what we call the automatic control loop. And this is automatic control loop already. But when we say manual mode, we will disable the uh, controller function based on based on the based on the configuration. So, ang mangyayari sa manual mode, ima manually operate natin to. Bakit mayroong manual mode? There are many reasons because, for example, may mga problema sa ating mga transmitters or sa ating mga instruments, sa ating mga major instruments. So, in order to 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 sustain the process or to prevent shutdown, our operator will, will manual the control loop. So manual control loop is unsafe actually because you need to uh, continuously monitor the process variable or your process. Otherwise, if you, it's either, for example, the temperature control loop it could have uh, high temperature or low temperature until you reach the treating point of the process. So when we say automatic mode or our second control mode is automatic, this is the exact design of our control loop. Okay? Either basic or advanced control loop. It must be uh, automatic. Okay? So here in this automatic control mode, we are talking only to one or uh, single loop controller. So meron tayong tinatawag na P I PID mm. in local set point. Integral derivative controller. PID so, means proportional integral, integral derivative. Mm, derivative. derivative controller na asset dito or na configure dito sa mm. controller natin. Mm. Okay? So, then with local set point. So, when we say local set point, this is uh, manually entered by operator. Mm. Then, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, advanced or no, multi-control, no. uh, uh, multi okay, which is one example is cascade. So, when we say cascade, isa lang siyang actually, uh, dalawang siyang uh, uh, PID controller, okay, na ang remote, na ang set point niya is remotely. Mm. So, meaning to say, Yung isang Mission controller ay nanggagaling sa other controller. So, as, as itong illustration na to. Sometimes, they call this supervisory control mode. It is cascade control mode. But uh, no, no, the correct term here is what we call the cascade. Okay. So, this controller or FC stands for flow control. Okay. Controls the flow here by this uh, control valve. Itong dash na to, is yung signal natin, signal, input signal ng controller, 
and this is the output signal of the controller going to our control valve. Then this set point, this is our set point 9 or command coming from the other controller such as digital computer or other uh, control system. So, our, itong yeah. tinataw itong yeah. set point yeah. ito is not yeah. manually yeah. entered now. This is what we call remote set point. Remote set point. Tama na. So, ano naman itong direct digital control? So, ito yung tinatawag yeah. natin uh, single loop control only. So, ito yung simple uh, illustration ito. Input, pupunta siya sa computer or controller. Ah, parang iskada. Oh, alas ganun-ganun din yan. Yan, explain nyo ni kayo. PLC, iskada. Hmm, yun. Yung mga ganun. Wala rin kasi pinakaiba yan. Okay, PLC, iskada. Kung instrument ka, instrument technician, kung ano lahat yan. Okay, so, ito yung tinatawag natin na remote set point. 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 Yung process control kasi, medyo, ah, Highly, ano kasi siya eh, technically yung process control, kapag pinawag natin process control, dito nag-merge yung mga uh, different mga software na kasi yan eh. Such as electrical, such as electronics engineer, such as mechanical hmm. engineer, hmm. such as chemical engineer, including computer engineers. So, if you remember our curriculum or our uh, subjects in college sa mga engineering uh, students, Meron tayong control system or process control system na subject. Eh, yung nag-aaral pa tayo, yung control system is highly math siya. Hmm. So, meron involvement ng mga uh, Laplace transform, mga advanced mathematics uh, 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 equations, including differential equations. But here, uh, I-discuss natin siya yung practical applications. So, meron tayong control functions. So, this control function is classified into categories. A loop control and a sequential control. So, when we say sequential control, uh, it handles operating sequences okay, and process, stat process status signal. So, ang best example nito is yung nasa production lines or yung mga robotics or yung mga nasa uh, packaging, packaging lines where the control is by sequence. Okay? Ang common uh, controller rito yung is ginawa uh, mo no, sa BFD sequential control sa, sa sequential control is Uh, in de PLC, default lang yun by default, oh, by default. Is, uh, ang ginawa ko ang ginawa ko The, uh, kung anong data ng motor, yun yung in-input ko. Ah. Tapos yun na, ano na siya, tuloy-tuloy na. Yun ang importante dyan eh. Hindi siya lumagpas sa, sa specs ng motor. Kasi pag lumagpas, waka masira yung motor. Hmm. Para makontrol ng BFD. Okay. This includes feedback control and feed forward control. So later, uh, next slide, we will... Feedback, uh, yung closed loop. Yung forward, open loop yan. And, uh, Pag nagbato ng signal, control. hindi mo na alam kung na-receive na nga. Mm. So, pero kung okay, closed so loop, may status control. ka pabalik. So, kung nag-on talaga. Sa control, yung yeah. yeah. controller contains the deviation. Ito lang ang wala ako. Ang sequential. Oh, set point. And always advanced. correct. It's control. Step in accordance with predefined sequence. So actually, this is our feedback control loop. So we we give feedback from the process through the transmitter to our controller, and our controller compares the signal, the the this process variable signal to our set value. Okay, and this controller will continuously maintain the, the process versus mm. your set point. As you can see here, yung annual na to, mm. yung set point niya no, is 1,040 no, 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 and then no, 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 no. the process variable is 1,040 also. Mm. Any deviation, meaning when you say deviation, the difference between the set point and the process variable. Sometimes, sinasabi natin error. Pag sinabi natin error, ano lang siya, kasi propag lang siya or, 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 or inverse lang siya ng deviation. The idea there is, the difference between your actual 
which is your process variable mm -hmm. and versus your set point, set point for your target value. Mm -hmm. So we said always correct because this is automatic. Right? Mm -hmm. This is automatic control. That's why we are always correcting the yeah. input to match mm -hmm. the set point. Next, control action is what we call the feed-forward control. In feed-forward control, uh, uh, in which the corrective action is taken by the measuring disturbance mm -hmm. and directly driving the final control element before it affects the process. Okay, going back again to this process, to this control loop, again, this is just a feedback control loop. So, ano ba yung feed-forward? From the from the word feed forward, we have another uh, measuring instrument here that measures the disturbance. Okay, so we measure first the disturb uh, when we when we had the uh, uh, the disturbance, the disturbance signal will will send directly to the controller and to command the final control element to avoid offset or uh, deviation. Okay? Meaning to say. Uh, yung corrective action instead na na inacalculate pa or, or or coming from the controller uh, directly feeding okay? directly feeding siya sa final control element natin because this final control element such as control valve modulating control valve or modulating valve uh, is the one that manipulates the process or or control the uh, process need you that that uh, maintain your uh, process Again, as what I have said, sequential control is for uh, uh, sequence. Okay? Yung mga process niya is, yung uh, application niya is uh, nasa sequencing. For example, transfer from one point to another, from then up to that point to another uh, location. So these are the three common uh, control functions in uh, process control. Alright, so our process control system are classified into analog and digital control system. So when you say analog control, okay, although this analog control is already an, uh, electronic, okay? So because when you say analog control, ito yung luma, ito yung makalumang uh, uh, control system natin, which is operated or using the operational amplifiers. So if you remember, our uh, LX or electronics force mm -hmm. operational amplifiers we have what we call the instrumentation amplifiers amplifiers is the uh, integrated yes, yes, yes. to do control oh, yeah. then ano ba tong digital control system tulad ng sinabi ko kanina what I, what I have said before, our distributed control system is under this digital control system so when you say digital control system it uses Microprocessor na. Hmm. Ang gamit. Uh, ID CD. Pag analog, computer, ang gamit niya, uh, operational uh, amp uh, amplifiers. Uh, Pag digital control na, uh, microprocessor na siya. Digital controls, digital control system are preferred uh, over analog, analog control uh, because of the uh, uh, interfacing to our computers uh, for data analysis. Madali siya i-interface. Because uh, uh, the analog control cannot uh, be easy or it's not easy to uh, interface to our control to our computer for data analysis and, and this is illustrated in this uh, diagram okay so in this diagram as you can see if you remember our first two slides we have transmitter we have ITP transducer and final control element okay so the controller here, this controller is made up of electronic uh, IC or, or mm. IC or integrated circuits, basically mm. operational amplifier. Mm. And the common signal or the common input of this uh, controller is 1 to 5 volts mm. DC. Mm. So if your transmitter is 4 to 20, you need to shunt, connect parallel. Mm. 250 ohm so that 4 to 20 milliampere will be converted to 5 volts. So Pag from basic ohm slope, 4 milliampere times 250 ohms, you'll have 1 volt. Okay? Okay. So that's the 
20 milliamperes times 250 ohms will have 5 volts. So that's why uh, before we have what we call the shrunken store or your 250 ohms shrunken store. Then this controller, of course, the set point is coming from manually entered from our operator mm -hmm. and send output signal to our final control element, including the IPP transducer. Ano nga yung IP? Alright, so ang pong digital control system. Ano nga yung haba na nga nga yung parang converter kasi yun. Our digital control system, as what ano naman said, sabi mo is made of microprocessors. Yung... PID. Mm. So here, this is our controller, <laughs> which is the computer itself. So from transmitter, integrated, we will be an analog digital derivative. Okay. Mm. Okay. So ADC, we can talk about ADC or analog to digital conversion. Parang integrated so proportional siguro yan. Because for the 20 mA, this analog signal. Okay, proportional. So signal, proportional, uh, integrated, uh, derivative. Any value mm. from 0 to 100. That is for the 20, mAh, 1 to 5 volts, resistance, millivolts, mga analog signals po yan. Now, you, if your controller is microprocessor-based, we need, and the microprocessor is a digital, uh, ayan, oh. digitally operated device. In the device. meeting. Yeah, doon na sa meeting. We need the conversion mm. from analog to digital. Oh, yeah. Then the 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 digital <laughs> signal from this conversion. <laughs> from this conversion.